hit him with the switch up. You got to grip up. Put your hands up. It's a stick up. Hey, yo. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, okay? Everything is all skirt. All right, boom. So, I saw the documentary Foxcatcher. Now, I find it crazy what money can do to people. You know, I have to ask myself, is it a, is it a person that is crazy, then they get money and do crazy things? Or is it money that makes them crazy? You know what I'm saying? Like, you really got to ask. You know, I know 50 Cent and Styles P had a convo, right, on, on the radio. It's, no, it's a famous convo, 50 Cent and Styles P. I ain't snitching shit. But it, it, it's notorious, public record. With, you know, Styles P tells him, you're too rich, bro. Like, what are you doing? You're too rich, bro. Come back, come back down. Come back down to, come back down to earth. Like, and 50 Cent replied, what the fuck you think? You get rich to get out the hood. Why would I come back down? Even if he didn't say it that way, I'm not quoting. You know, if you go listen to it, it in such short, and, and then look at their careers. Styles P never sold out, never did these, never did these things. He, you know, he, he made his money the way he, 50 Cent wanted more, so became more. Whatever you want to be, you become ultimately, right? If you want to be nothing, you will be nothing. If you want to be something, you will be something. Now back to DuPont. So this guy... This guy, he comes from a very wealthy family, John DuPont. His name is John DuPont. You probably see his name on shit somewhere. He's, he's fucking like billions. Comes from a very rich family. He, 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 he chose as a person to put money into athletics because him himself wasn't an athletic person, but he believed in it. He believed in, in sports and he believed in what comes out of people with their athleticism and their, the, you know, the, the strategicness to, to be the best and to, to, to he, he believed in it. So he paid for, he paid, he funded swimming, he funded gymnasium, he funded, he funded so many athletic sports. He had a huge ranch, acres, 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 where he put stuff there for people to have. I'm going to let all these people in. And then finally, as an older man, he finds wrestling. Now, when he found wrestling, he fell in love with wrestling. When he fell in love with wrestling, he fell in love with... And I don't mean in love. I mean in love in a sense where what the person did, David Schultz. David Schultz was a A1 American wrestler. Like, up, up there in age. Up there in age, yes. You know, but he was A1 and everybody knew it. So when, when, when Schultz came over to the DuPont team, because DuPont decided to make this wrestling team called Foxcatcher. So when you get Schultz, when you get the king, obviously people follow. So now this relationship starts between Schultz and, 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 and DuPont. And DuPont, is, DuPont sees himself as, you know, Puff Daddy, fucking Shook Knight, the, you know, the man. But he also wants to be a player. He also wants to be a rapper. So he's not only a person... Funding all these things, he's taking a liking to these guys. Dupont, yo, his for his craziness, for how this story ends and shit, for his craziness, man, he he did a lot of good things. He, I started this convo with, does money corrupt a person or is a person already corrupted and money just makes it worse? I started it with that because I, you know, I you gotta ask all these good things he did. Yo, he, for David Schultz and a whole bunch of other people that were part of the wrestling team, he built houses on his property. You heard me? DuPont built houses and apartment complexes on his property so these people could live rent-free. So these people had places to live. DuPont, DuPont gave money to the police, uh, the, the, all the police there. He gave funding to them. He allowed them to come to his, his ranch to fucking target practice. You understand, like, he, he, he gave so much. And for my thought is, like, for a person that's so giving, and because I don't trust nobody. You know, I say that shit up front. Stop your shit. I, I don't trust nobody. You know, like, I, I'm, I'm, that's the way I am. I, I, I just don't trust people. And that's probably because I don't trust myself half the time. But all the time, I don't trust people. That's my shit. You know what I mean? And, and if you, because if, if you don't set somebody or something at a high standard, you don't have to prepare for a long fall. 
and call it a bad way of thinking, but I call it critical. Feel me? So DuPont, he was great. Did all these things. He didn't, and his idea was, his idea was because, and shit, I gotta do a part of that too. And, you know, shout out to Icarus. You know, shout out to Icarus. Shout out to 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 what that gentleman did on finding out. Go check out the documentary Icarus. Go on finding out the Russians doping during the Olympics, and it was a really really great. Maybe I should even do a pot on it, you know, but it was really great documentary. And that reflects on this, where John DuPont, all you saw through history was Russians beating us, especially in wrestling. Russians always beating us. Russians always beating us. John DuPont had a thought. His thought was, when you are a young man in the United States of America, most of the time, if you're doing a sport, you have to quit your sport. Ask why. I answer. Reason being, you have to get a fucking job. You got fucking bills. Unless you're born with a fucking silver spoon, and if you are born with a silver spoon, most people born with a silver spoon don't have drive because they have a silver spoon. So you see how it's like a it's a crazy balance. It's like almost like e dot or. You know, like not many not many rich billionaires become Batman, bro. They don't. Not rich billionaire kids become Batman. Look what it took for him to become Batman. Bom mom to get bo mom and dad to get bodied. So Dupont had this idea that if you take an American that don't have to work, that don't have to, instead of sacrificing his time being in the gym, getting more skilled, learning more skill, beating people, be being in the gym, main thing. When you give somebody, when you give a person that time to be in the gym with whatever they do, the studio, the computer, school, a lot of people are discouraged from school because they don't want to pay those goddamn student loans. And that's a real fucking dedication right there that you... It's the same thing where you, you have a... you have a How many times we hear the athlete, I was sleeping in my car for fucking... You saw the show Kingdom where Shorty was sleeping in her car when she first got to Cali. Didn't tell nobody. I'm going to get through this. How many people have to do that because they, they, they want to be successful and they, they think that they this is their road. This is what's been handed to them. I'm going to be successful. How many success stories do we fucking have like that, that people were nothing? I think Samuel Jackson was a fucking bum. Don't quote me on that. But that's my point. That, you, you know, you, you, people sacrifice in order to get somewhere. As us Americans, we, you know, I think unfortunately it comes to a point that if you come from a house that a household that isn't, you know, making over a hundred, hundred grand, two hundred grand a year, you know, if you come from a household that parents are working forty plus hours, to, for those parents to put you in sports and athletics and everything when you're younger, you better fucking eat it up. You better eat it up and do something like get a scholarship and really be the best at it. Don't, don't, don't sit there and waste time and money because it was fun. Because people have sacrificed for you to get there. And then when you get there, when you're 20 and 21, I, it, it, must, it must suck for that athlete. You know what I mean? That didn't get drafted. Or, you know, it must suck for that athlete that wants to wrestle, that wants to fight, and don't have, don't have the means to, and nobody paying for it. And he has to work fucking 12-hour shifts to pay for this shit. Now you got to go wrestle all fucking sick and tired and shit. Yo, this shit's it's real what DuPont did. I can't take away from what DuPont did. He fucking gave these men opportunity to be the best that they can be in the field that they were the best in wrestling. So how does he go so fucking bad? How does he go so bad? I don't understand. I still don't get it. I think it was because of old age. I think it was because uh inside hindering him. And I'll tell you what bad is. Bad is he killed David Schultz. Bad is he murdered a man. Like, that's how bad he became. He murdered a man. And then after he murdered a man, and the cops tried to talk to him and everything, because I told you, he was good with the cops. You know what I mean? The cops tried to actually talk to him and everything. He's like, I rule this land. Ain't nobody gonna come after me. On the phone, he says this. Like, this is mine. Like, nobody's gonna take this from me, come after me. Nothing. Nothing. He, he could not accept what he had done. He would not accept it. Like, 
He thinks it was cool that he murdered somebody. So it's like, I dissect the person in detail when I see things like that. It interests me. It intrigues me. Don't judge me. I just, I want to know why. Comes from a household of a lot of money. DuPonts. Had anything he wanted growing up. Chose to give. Chose to keep giving. Now, I look at the, the in-betweens of this. Growing up, my man had to make appointments to see his own father. Now, listen, I know a lot of, a lot of dudes would be like, No, nah, I didn't have my dad neither. <laughs> Your dad didn't even want to see you. And maybe it's not an excuse for him. He should have sucked it up, buttercup. But he was around, what, two sisters and a mom. Poor kid didn't even know what to do with be sensitive. You ain't athletic. You're not getting anywhere. All you got is money. When people see you, people know money. Growing up, that might cause a complex. And I don't give excuses to complexes. I'm learning after I've seen Son of Sam and all this shit. Yeah, I'm not giving excuses to complexes no more. You got a complex? We all got one. Yeah, you know I mean, there's no justification in murdering another person unless they fucking took from you. Unless they took from you, I don't think you should ever murder a person. And, and I don't mean taking a dollar. But if they took a dollar from you and you murdered them, that's your complex, bro. <laughs> My point. You should never murder a person. Complexes have no excuses. So DuPont grew up, shitty lifestyle, like most of us. whoop de doo Still don't get away, you become a killer. So DuPont tried to wrestle in his older age when he had all this team and these wrestlers showing him shit. He sucked. Sucked to the point where it was frustrating. It got to him. You know, I see old men, and no knock on old men, but I see old men, I'm going to, I don't want to get old, because I don't want to be a person that hates, damn, man, I feel old, like, fuck, I can't do this. I can't, I don't want to ever feel like that. I don't want to ever feel like an invalid, invalid, whatever it's called. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to feel like that. I don't want to feel incapable. It, it, and, and I get it. You know, you, you are a successful man, probably could fuck any hoe you want, buy any car you want, do anything you want, but the one thing you want to do and be good at, you can't do. It's impossible. It was so impossible to the point where John DuPont went ahead and staged wrestling matches that he would win and win a trophy for. That's sick, right? You would get a crowd of people, 50, 100,000 people to come watch you fight, and it's all staged, and you did that? That's sick, right? That is crazy when you think about an ego. That is some really egotistical shit. But what's worse, you know, and that's why I don't, I don't know if I blame John so much. Everybody around him let him do this. As he got older and his mind started slipping, he would have crazy stories about things in the field. He would watch a camera for eight hours, and people would be like, man, yeah, maybe there's something there. Why, why do that? Why do that? Why massage his ego more? Why? If a person needs help, and a person is showing, like, that he's sick, why go ahead and, because he's, and that's where this documentary, where I don't know if, this is what you should take away with it, because this is what I took away with it. You know, don't use people, because what they give you, if you know that where they're giving it from is a bad place. If a person is in a bad place in their life, don't take from them. Even if they're giving it. That's a crackhead sucking your dick, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're sucking, just because you get your dick sucked, you take it? It's a crackhead. What are you doing? And that's my point. That people watched him deteriorate. He even went as far as getting a U-Haul for somebody to move out. Like he got a U-Haul and parked it in front of, in his complex... Because he asked somebody to leave. And the person had a right. Yeah. Legitimate excuse. Where well, you want me to go? You want to just kick me out? You brought me in here. Paid all my bills. Fed me. And now you just want to kick me out? I'm sorry. In this world we live in? Now? Yeah. Get the fuck out of my house. If I want you out my house, my property, the things that I earn, get the fuck out. There should be no excuse. But I guess him being an old man. That other guy being a wrestler. I feel like that wrestler took advantage of the situation. I don't care if you got a kid and a wife and all this shit. Figure it out. Figure it out. There's people that figure it out with less. Figure it out. The person didn't want you on his property. And I think things like that, people adding to his ego, those things made this person lose his mind. Those things helped John DuPont 
lose his mind. No excuse. No excuse. Murder is never excuse. You never get an excuse for a complex. You know it's there. You have it. But it could have been avoided. He could have been stopped. He could have been checked a long time ago. He could, everything could have been avoided. You know, rest in peace to David Schultz. Blessings to the family. I, I know through the documentary, I hope y'all got paid for all this shit. You know, I send my love to you through my fucking platform. It sucks what happened. But let's not let, let's not let this shit happen again, people. When you see somebody, whether they're a person of high status or they're a person of low status, if they care about you or show to care about you or you care about them or show to care about them, until the point where you stop really caring about them, care about them. Make sure that they're in the best mental state and state of mind. Because if not, they're going to walk in your crib and shoot you. Shout out to Team Fox Catch a documentary. Yo, I'm out of here, y'all. Is your boy okay? Everything is old. Stop your shit.